Okay. Hey, good people. Stephanie here. Uh, in the bathroom. I'm not doing nothing. But this one is for the ladies. Have you ever been out on an event, a date, or anything like that? Well, it's not like I went on a date or whatever right now. I went out to take some pictures with Titus today and took my time, did my makeup, did my hair yesterday. That's the last outfit I had on right there um, for the photo shoot today. But have you ever felt like, okay, I did my hair and my makeup so nicely. I don't know if you can see there a little bit. But I did my hair and makeup so nicely and it's like you don't want to wash it off. You don't want, really want to wrap your head up right now because it's like, God, dog, I spend just as much time doing my hair and makeup as it took to actually do the photo shoot today. So now I'm home and it's time to wrap it up, wash it all off, and just get, not necessarily get rid of bed, but do other stuff. And I'm like, mm, my hair was looking pretty nice today. Out there. It was very, very windy today out there with him. Um, not really cold, cold. I did like the way the weather felt just for being outside doing something like that. Um, I don't know how well it did with my hair because the wind was blowing, but when I got home and I looked in the mirror just now, I'm like, okay, my hair was still nice. Still had some bump and some curl to it. I'm like, okay, I could've went for another round of pictures. But it's like, you, you feel like, okay, I don't really want to wash my face and brush my hair and flip it and wrap it all around now because it, it was so nicely done. Just wondering if anybody else felt like that. Gotta move on. Do something else. So hopefully it'll have the same bump and stuff in it tomorrow. Now granted it's still not as not as thick as it was last year. And anybody who has worked with me you you know exactly why I lost some of my hair last year, you know, but, and I will probably keep saying that until it actually grows back on my head and thickens up. It's growing now lengthwise, but I can definitely tell when I run my hands through it, I know the difference. And I know that had to be certainly a, a huge part of it. You know, I know it, things are, at times, how we respond to things, but mm, it was a very stressful time, a very, very stressful time for me, and I'm just really now getting my hair back some lengthwise, but in the back, I had it cut three times, three times since last year in the back, so it can work on growing and thickening up right down the center. If anybody has a problem with that, let me know. See, let me know what you're doing. I'm trying the coconut oil, castor oil, rosemary mix, and I just kind of flip it up and do it whenever, really, whatever I'm feeling. Like tonight, I'm not going to put anything on it at all. I'm just going to wrap it up tonight since I just did it yesterday. And tomorrow, oh, I'm going to the gym in the morning. So I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, so that means it's probably going to be a little sweaty, but whatever. Take I will leave it up with a bandana like Aunt Jemima while I'm in the gym. I don't care, so I don't have to do this all over again. And then when I take it down, it will air dry itself probably before I have to go wherever. Oh, i got to pick up my cousin tomorrow to sing some of one of the songs that I have for this new project. So, uh... I would probably just spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner in it. I use Infusium leave-in conditioner, Infusium 23. I used to use it a long time ago. I don't even know who told, who was that told me about that? I don't know if I was in Atlanta at the time or was I in Seattle, but somebody told me about this Infusium 23 leave-in conditioner. It's kind of tough to find it right now because it's not as prevalent as it, as it used to be with that product, but it's in a bigger jar, um, excuse me, in a bigger bottle, and I got mine from Sally's, so I bought the huge bottle, it's empty now, it's empty now, but this is it, Infusium 23, 
um, and it's the leave-in conditioner. It'll say original on the bottle. It's a brown and brown, white, and black bottle, but it will say original on the bottle. And what I do is I just put that on in a little spray bottle. And actually, I have been working with rosemary oil too, so this is not the exact bottle for that. But I just put it in a spray bottle, something like this, that might give a little bit of a mist. And I put that in the bottle with a little bit of rosemary and I put a little bit of coconut oil in the bottle too. So I spray that on lightly and then I wrap it around and do whatever else I'm going to do with it. I don't do that every night. Sometimes, sometimes I do, but it's not that often. And in between that, I'll mix it up and put a little bit of coconut oil on the scalp a tiny bit because it can get definitely too oily. Um, right before I get ready, sorry about that, right before I get ready to wash my hair like the next day or something, I will go ahead and put castor oil with rosemary on my scalp and just leave it on there. Sometimes if I don't wash it the next day, that's okay. The castor oil is still on there and I'll wash it out the, the day after or something like that. But there you go, ladies. I just wanted to share that moment with you. Because it's like, my goodness, my hair looks so nice and I took my time with it and I took my time with the makeup and everything. I mean, the makeup is not over the top because they were pictures for acting. So you still want to have a naturalness to the way that you're looking. You don't want to look like a clown and you don't want to look like I'm about to do a music video or something like that. So the makeup itself is still fairly natural, fairly natural but the hair child, and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it i I love that so y'all pray for my head and put my own hands on my head anoint me jesus anoint my scalp father god pray over yourself child encourage yourself encourage the hair follicles to grow i will probably massage it really good right now and then just wrap it around go ahead and get my shower and everything and wash this makeup off duh I'd be glad when I'm a famous actress, singer, dealio, all that stuff. Let somebody else do this makeup. You hear me? Let somebody else do the makeup. I already got a couple of people in mind um, to work with on that. Two here in Lakeland, one in Tampa. I think there's another lady in Orlando I was thinking of too. But there you go. You got all those little tips and things like that. Just bonding with you all to see if you might have had a moment just like I had. Well, my hair was really nice, the makeup was nice, and I just didn't want to wash it off. I just didn't want to wrap my hair around because it was just nice today. But anyway, and those are some tips that I actually do with my hair. So there you have it. Maybe that's something that can help you. Maybe that's what this thing was about, but I was just kind of rambling on doing my thing. But now I actually have to wash it off because what? I got things to do. Peace out, y'all. See you next time. Stephanie, I am who I am. Ah.